Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayua Mesale and today I am joined by Sandra Eze. And I think we should have Temi Tokwe <laughs> of Asaya joining us via Zoom this evening. Sandra, let me start with you. How are you doing? Today? I am good. Tell um, me about yesterday. Yesterday, however, was not funny. A, a whole lot happened. Before I got to the studio, I think I shared the drama with everyone on how um, my car got stopped uh, in, the, in the pool of water, like the mini ocean around um, uh, VI. Yeah. And I got through that one. Now, getting back home after the show, I left that after the show wrapped past nine or thereabouts. I got home past 12. There was this crazy traffic traffic from Midway uh, Third Mainland Bridge. And then after that, when we got towards the Apostolic Church, somewhere close to Chinatown, that China village, um, there was tra there was like intense traffic. And so there was robbery around. And huh, so they were robbing. Me. Yeah. Both robbing. cars on your side. Exactly. So it was like I was invisible. I was like, Jesus, I better be invisible. <laughs> Wow. So I was praying and then about five minutes later, the police came around and they were like, where are they? Where are they? And I was so grateful because I felt um, a lot more secure. And then just um, a couple of feet after that particular place, the road opened up. So I got home past 12. Wow. Oh, you need a lot of strength to live in Lagos. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's actually very crazy. One single thing happens on the road and the road is completely locked out. Yeah. I think we also have Tammy. Tammy, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're good. good. I'm look, looking hot in the pink lipstick. I love the <laughs> lip color. <laughs> Thank you. And you the hair. So no, tell us your story now. How have you been coping with Lagos <laughs> since the rain started and the ease of the lockdown? Oh my. Well, I think for me, um, with the rains, the rains came with lots of cough and cold and changing weather and with COVID-19, this is a bad time to have any kind I of agree. flu, right? I absolutely <laughs> so, agree. <laughs> so it's come with a lot of paranoia, like, you know, you're coughing. Are you sure? Do you have any yeah. other kind of, like, is your throat itching? Yeah. Or are you losing sense exactly. of taste? Exactly. Mm. You know, that kind of thing. But I'm still working from home. So thankfully, I've been spared from the traffic. Wow, wow. But I hate to be crazy. It's been really crazy, honestly speaking. I, and I think, I mean, today is such an apt topic that we're talking about, you know, today mm -hmm. because uh, this is the time where we actually need that balance in our lives. I agree. Yeah. I do yeah. agree. Yeah. And totally you know, talking agree. about the rainy season, I don't even understand how you can differentiate the normal common cold that will come with the rainy season and COVID-19. It's so confusing. Uh, just like uh, Timmy <sighs> Topwe said, it's like it's the, it's the worst time to have anything cold, cough, I'm malaria. It just just don't get sick. <laughs> I tell you. All right. So here's what we found as today's quote: Don't get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. That's from Dolly Parton. Timmy Topwe. Are you making a life or you're making a living? Which one? <laughs> I'm purposefully trying. I'm on a journey, right, to make. A, a life, life, a fulfilling, purposeful one. Mm -hmm. Not just about making a living. We need to live this life and live it well. Absolutely. How about you, Sanzi? Oh, you dear, say? you really had to put me on the spot. <laughs> you just had to put me on the spot. Honestly, I think at this phase of my life, I am too busy making a living. Mm. Yeah, I'm like... 70% making a living and 30% um, making a life. But hmm. I mean, a, a lot later in my life, I hope to balance it out. But right now I'm like, work, 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 work. What is happening? How much are you paying me? Is it worth it? I'm there. <laughs> well, it's actually interesting to me, Tokwe, because I would love to ask our guest when she eventually comes. Does it come with age, this work-life balance thing? Because I see that sometimes some people, are when they are younger, it's easy for you to just jump here, jump here, jump here. As you're getting older, you begin to put that structure and that balance. Do you think it comes with age? Uh, yes and no. So I guess for some people, when you're younger, you feel like you have a lot of energy, mm. right? And you're able to, you know, push yourself, push yourself. Yeah. You know, but Yes, as you get older, it doesn't come automatically. You have to do it intentionally. Absolutely. Right? So, yes. That's what I was so, saying. So, we'll, we'll continue the conversation. So, today our focus <laughs> is helping us understand how to balance work and life. And we have Modupe Lanry Akinsio to discuss this. But first, let's take a break for what's in the news. <laughs> 